Hey, just wanted to take a minute and give everyone an update on what has been accomplished with the fiber drone, you know, the evolutions that this thing has, has just taken on within the last few months. This is actually uh, the team that made the first known uh, fiber kill using a Ukrainian designed fiber drone. So what we're saying is that currently what we've been doing is we've been purchasing these from outside of Ukraine or different countries have provided their version of fiber drone. And this is one that's been built here by Ukrainian hands, Ukrainian engineers with uh, some Canadian and American input here. And we've worked together and we have had success on the battlefield now multiple, multiple times. And so we're just going to, one, give thanks for that, um, what, what has happened because of volunteers. And then George is going to tell you why he's the pilot that had the successful uh, kill and why the fiber is so important and what it's going to do for us on the battlefield. Uh, what Russians have been good at for the last few decades uh, is uh, developing and using uh, uh, some, some fancy jamming systems like big ones, uh, small ones, mobile ones, stationary ones. Well, this time when this thing is flying there and Russians think that Oh, we have some fancy jamming system here and this drone is approaching Russian position and they think, oh, now it's going to fall down, now it's going to fall. No, no, you're not, you're not jamming this. They're not jamming it. It's actually flying to Russian position without any <laughs> delays. There is no signal delay here. What we are trying to do here is to, to improve our efficiency because uh, most of the, well, all of the, uh, uh, Ukrainian FPV teams use either this pole here which uh, you release and it gets like about like uh, eight meters tall and then you mount an antenna over it and then you're trying to have to maintain a signal uh, communication with the drone that you're actually flying use from this antenna or you're f you're flying another big drone where you have a retransmitter on that drone well that system is not effective anymore because if a team lands two out of 10 drones on a target, it is considered success. Most of the drones, absolute majority of the drones, FPV, regu regular FPV drones just go to waste. This is changing this, changing this story. This is completely changing this story. What, what we can achieve with this is, well, just like Troy says, it's over 90% of success over 90 percent of successful hits this thing cannot be jammed you can get rid of this stupid pole i just want to get rid of this stupid pole i'm done with carrying this with me over there on the field just want to get rid of it <laughs> we gotta get you some more drones yeah. brother <laughs> fiber yeah, drones sir. we need drones like this and guys, what we've achieved so far, again, with cooperation with the Ukrainians, because you give the Ukrainians a, uh, a fork and they're going to make a lethal weapon out of it. And what they have done is taken an original design that we came over with some time ago, and they have made it better and better and better. And literally daily, there's an, uh, an improvement. We've gotten the, potentially the cost of this down to, you know, at one point it was 250. And with the new advancements, Jeez. the kit that attaches to the drone platform of your choosing, and we are looking to the next step on that is to getting it down to right at about 100 bucks which is significant um, there. And the main thing that like what my line of effort has been is just meeting with unit after unit after unit and, you know, getting them spun up and drone manufacturer after drone manufacturer. Now, you know, meeting with Brave One and having their cooperation and sharing the tech, the specs, the code and all this and just showing how simple it is. And then, you know, I was grateful for the Legion to, uh, you know, let's, we took our first design and we took it to combat. And how did that work on the, uh, what was the Russians opinion of that uh, fiber drone when you introduced it to Well, them? they are were you watching this drone flying towards them. They think, oh, oh, Vadim, что такое? Мы не глушим этого дрона, что такое, Вадим? Well, in, in Russian, well, they're just complaining about why this drone is not being jammed. Because that's the point. It's not. It's not working on signal. It's working on cable, which actually works. So you don't jam this one. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I know a couple of basements and a couple of guys that uh, are, are. Anyways, they're not here with us anymore well, to give yeah. us their opinion. Yeah. But um, in that basement, we can visit that basement for some barbecue because there is some barbecue there. 
Well, it, it works. And it works in a big way. And so we need your ongoing support and, um, you know, development efforts and just dollars just to get more of this kit out here, get the mic, get the integration going. And this isn't possible. Understand that there's not like, you know, but these units fundraise for this independently. There's not like, hey, go out and buy a bunch of this stuff. These guys are coming out typically out of their own pocket or a volunteer shows up like the different teams I've had the privilege of working with. Ukraine ADOPS being one of them that's been phenom phenomenal. And we get them the kit, fundraise, and allow them to have continue to have victory. If you give the Ukrainians the equipment they need, they will have victory. They just need the the hardware. The heart is our. You can't. The, the heart's already there. We need, we need the tools. We are taking the risk. We are, we can take. We we will take the risk. We will take it as far. We we are ready to walk into Russia every single day. We just need equipment. We need working equipment. We need something we can trust in. We need something we'll have confidence in. This has that potential. Guys, we appreciate everyone's support. Semper Fi. Thank you.